In the previous part of the video, we saw that how indexes helps us to make our search faster. But you know, there is a saying going in the market, you know, which says that basically whatever good comes, right, it always comes with some drawbacks and some disclaimers. And the same also holds true for indexes. So in this video, we'll talk about the other part of the story that how indexes impact insert, update and delete uh, operations. So in order to demonstrate, you know, how indexes impact insert, update and deletes, here's a simple table I have created called as my table. And in this my table, we have two fields. One is the ID and the other one is my data. Now the ID uh, column is actually a data type of int and the my data column is a data type of char 2000. And now on this table, you know, we have a very simple index over here. And this index is actually a cluster index. I'll talk about what exactly is cluster and non cluster index in the coming part of the video. But for now, you know, uh, this ID column is actually indexed, right? So very simple, you know, we have we have a table which has an index. It has two columns. One is ID and the other one is my data. And the ID column is a type int and the my data is a, is a type care of 2000. Now what I'll do is let me go and insert some records into this table, right? So let me just go and open this table in an edit mode and I'll put some records here. One, two, three, and four. Now let's try to analyze that for this kind of data, for this kind of table, for this kind of data types, you know, how will the internal index uh, structure be formed or how will it shape up? Okay, so here's a simple single point view I have created, you know, with the index structure as well as the data and data types, you know, to get a proper idea of how uh, the indexes are formed internally or how the indexes are stored internally. So currently, you know, we have uh, two columns, you know, as we have already said in the previous part of the video, which has two data types, uh, that is one is int and the other one is char 2000 and it has four records, you know, which, which we have recently inserted, right? Now, as we have said in the previous part of the video that indexes are stored in node format node means you know they have root node you know they have intermediate node and then they have leaf node okay so you can see that this is a root node this is an intermediate node and this is the leaf node now the leaf node of the cluster index actually contains the data so you can see this is the root node this is the intermediate node and this last rectangle here this big rectangle here complete this whole thing here is nothing but the root node and it is actually containing the data here so you can see here this first data is one one it is over here this 2 2 is over here this 3 3 is over here and the 4 4 is over here so you can see that the 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 actual data you know lies in the leaf node of the cluster index now the leaf node actually stores data in 8 kb pages or 8 kb chunks uh, 8 kb means approximately 812 bytes right now we have here four records right and uh, four records and each record is of is of size 2008 bytes 2008 bytes why because the int is of eight bytes and this char is of 2000 bytes one char is equal to one byte so you know one record of this my table will take 2008 bytes so four records will take 8032 bytes so you can see over here this is record one right it is taking 2008 bytes this is record two taking 2008 bytes 2008 2008 so the so from this 8 kb page you know the the four records are actually consuming 8032 bytes and that is 160 bytes you know which are free now let's say that a fifth record is inserted here five so what will happen now so already you know this 8 kb page is already full and only 160 bytes are pending and when we add this fifth record you know we will need more 2008 bytes but we have only 160 bytes which are free right so what will happen it will actually go and create one more 8 kb page in other words a page split happens so a page split is nothing but you know when the 8 kb pages actually get filled right you know it goes and creates a new page and it tries to accommodate the new records into this new page here so this is called as a page split so let's try to conclude whatever we have learned and then we will see a simple demonstration of how this page split actually looks like. So at one side, you know, index definitely helps you to increase your search performance. But we have to also look at the other side of the coin, you know, where if you have too many indexes on a table, you can have too many page splits and that can actually go and impact your performance. Now what we'll do is let's go ahead and uh, see a simple demo of how exactly this page split happens and how it looks like. So let me just go back to my table here. So now 
if I go and add the fifth record, the paste split will happen, right? Now the next question will be that, so how do we go and monitor or how do we go and see this paste split or how do we know that when this paste split will happen? Now in order to know the paste split event has happened or not, we'll be using the perfmon tool. The perfmon tool is nothing but it's a performance monitoring tool which comes with the Windows operating system. So let's click on start, let's go to run and let's type here perfmon, P-E-R-F-M-O-N, that is performance monitor and let's press enter. Now once you press uh, press enter right you can see that you know there's a nice application which has started here and at the left hand side you can see there are a couple of menus performance monitor and reliability monitor let's go and click on performance monitor now as soon as you click on performance monitor you can see that already he's tracking something over here now uh, what he's tracking you know by default is a processor time but we are not really interested in the processor time we are we are interested in the page split right so what i'm going to go is i'm going to go and delete this so I'm going to go and clear all this and I'm going to go and delete this counter from here, uh, delete and let's right click on this white area here and say add counters. Now you can see that, uh, now first thing you know what exactly is a counter, a counter is nothing but it is data which has been emitted by the application. So your windows operating system can have a lot of application for example you can see there is a report server here, you know then there is some other uh, applications here right. So the you know these applications actually emit out a lot of rich information in form of counters and and you know for administrators you know sometimes it is very essential to listen to these counters and conclude things so for now you know we are interested in sql server application right so we go to sql server here and uh, in sql server we have something called as access methods and in that access methods we are interested to listen to page splits how many page splits are happening per second okay so I'm going to go and add this counter and I'm going to go and start to listen to this counter here now this line over here is very thin you know so what I'll do is I'm going to go and uh, uh, increase the width of this line and also I'll increase the scale of this line so that we can actually see things happening okay so I'm going to make it must be 100 or I can say I'll make it let's say 1000 so we can at least see that you know see when this event happens okay now what I'll do is let me go and just make this small here right and let me start inserting records and let's start seeing what happens here on this screen here right so i'll go and now insert now you can watch here this is my sql server window and i'll be adding data over here so i'll say here five and let me type here five okay now you can see this see this line over here this is indicating that a page split has happened okay so this thing here is indicating a page split now let's see so if I type here 6, nothing will happen. Why? Because, you know, the 8 KB page has not been filled. 7, 8, 9. See, one more page split has happened. So you can see that, you know, as soon as the 8 KB page sizes are getting filled, you know, page split is happening. It is creating new pages to accommodate data. So putting in simple words, at one side, you know, index improves the search performance, but if you have too many indexes on the table and if, if it's a heavy transactional table, you know, due to page split, it is possible that your performance can degrade. So I hope that you like this video. Now in the next video, we'll talk about two different types of indexes. One is a clustered index and non-cluster index, and we'll examine the differences between them. Thank you so much.